So we have a statistic problem here. Find the standard um, deviation. So the value of x are 65, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 80, 81, 88, 93, 94, 95, 99, and 100. So to find the standard deviation, we need the um, mean. So we need to calculate the mean. So the mean, the mean is the sum of x over n. So the sum of x is equal to, we add all of those 65 plus 68 plus 69 all the way to 100, and we get 1,225. Now we divide by n, so the n is the number of x or the, num the number of data which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So 15, now we divide 12, 25 over 15, and we get 81.67. So this is our mean. So now we make another column, x minus x bar, or x bar means the mean. So we call this one x bar. So we make another column here. So we have x minus x bar and we calculate, the, we populate this um, column by subtracting um, x bar from x. So we have 65 minus the mean which is 81.67 and 61 uh, 65 minus 81.87 is equal to a minus 16.67 um, and then 68 minus 81.67 we get a minus 13.67 and then 69 minus 81.67 is equal to a negative 12.67 and then 70 minus 81.67, we get minus 10.67. Then we have 71 minus 81.67. We, we get a, um, I don't know, this is 70 minus. This is 70 is 11.67 this is 11.67 and then we have 71 minus 81.67 is equal to a minus 10.67 and then 74 minus 81.77 is a minus 7.67 and then 78 minus 81.67 is minus 3 point sixty seven and then eighty minus eighty one point sixty seven is equal to minus one point sixty seven and then eighty one minus eighty one point sixty seven is equal to zero point sixty seven minus and then eighty eight minus eighty one point sixty seven is equal to six point three three and then 93 minus 81.67 is 11.33. 94 minus 81.67 is 12.33. 95 minus 81.67 is 13.33. 99 minus 81.67 is equal to 17.33. And 100 minus 81.67 equals to 18.33. So we have a 16. Now we need another column here. X minus X bar squared. So we square this um, column so all the negatives become positive. So 16.67 times 16.67 is equal to 277.8889. Then 13.67 times 13.67 is equal to 186.8689. Oh, 
So 12.67 times 6. 12.67 is equal to 160.5289. So 11.67 times 11.67 is equal to 136.1889. And then 10.67 times 10.67 is equal to 113.8489. Then 7.67 times 7.67 is equal to 58.8289. And then 3.67 times 3.67 is equal to 13.4689. 1.67 times negative um, 1.67 is equal to 2.7889. And then negative 0.67 times itself is equal to 0.4489. And then 6.33 times 6.33 is equal to 40.0689. And then 11.33 times 11.33 is equal to 128.3689. And 12 times 12.33 times 4 is equal to 162 times 0, 0.289. And 13.33 times 13.33 is equal to 177.6889. And 17.33 times 17.33 is equal to 300.3289. And 18.33 times 18.33 is equal to 335.9889. So now we need to sum these um, columns. So we add 277.889 plus 186.8689 plus 160 and all of them we um, add them and the sum is equal to 20,085 I mean 2,085.3335 2085.3335 so this is the sum so now the um, formula the formula for standard deviation deviation so s is equal to the square root of x minus x bar squared and we sum that and all over n minus 1. So the sum of x minus x bar squared, this is the x minus x bar squared, is equal to this, 20, 20, 85.3335, and all over n minus 1, n is equal to 15, so 15 minus 1, so now we have square root of 20.85.335 all over 14. Now this is equal to the square root of, um, so we divide this 20, um, 2085.335, divide 14, and we get 148.952335. Nine two nine. Now we square root this, and we get a twelve point two. So this is the answer. So S standard deviation is equal to twelve point two. So this is how you um, find the um, standard deviation. There's a lot of calculations involved that. Once you have all the numbers, you just um, plug it in into the equation and find the um, standard deviation.